Um, these are, here, here are four pictures. Can you pick the bad guy out of these pictures or the bad guys? There may be more than one. How many, let's go, let's start here on the upper left. How many of you think this is a bad guy? Raise your hands. How many think that's a bad guy? Okay, put them down. All right, let's go to the upper right corner. How many of you think that's a bad guy? Okay, about the same number. How about the one in the lower right corner? Oh, even more people think he's a bad guy. And the lower left over there, how many think he's a bad guy? All right, let's take the next slide and you're gonna see who these people are. Well, three of the four are bad guys, but the one up on the left is our chief investigator, Chuck McMillan. He's in the cyber crimes unit. Actually, Chuck's the one that goes undercover. And you know what Chuck did in Jacksonville when we opened our cyber crimes office a couple of weeks ago? Chuck said to me, and I told the press, Chuck can go on the internet, pretend to be a 15-year-old girl or boy, and in less than 10 minutes, he's gonna get solicited for sex. He went up on the internet in less than one minute, he was solicited for sex, and in five minutes, he was solicited by four different people. And he didn't do anything special, and that was like 10 o'clock in the morning on a school morning like this, okay? These are, the, 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 let's go back again. Let's go back to those people just one more time. This fellow over here on the right was arrested. Uh, he's a regional sales manager for Coors. The one on the lower right was a maintenance worker at a hotel in Orlando. The one over there on the lower left um, was an attorney in North Carolina. All of them have been arrested in Florida. Let's go to the next slide. Let's look at these guys. Now, how many of you think the one on the left over there is a perpetrator, a bad guy, a child predator? Okay, put your hands down. How many, about the one on the upper right? Eh, about the same, not that many. How about the lower right down here? How many think he's a bad guy? All right, how about the lower left? More of them. All right, let's go see who they are. Every one of these is a child predator. Fellow on the upper left is a hardware salesman in Jacksonville, a karate instructor on the upper right in Apopka in the Orange County system, apartment complex maintenance worker on the lower right, and the one on the lower left was in the Navy and worked, uh, worked on the Kennedy. Let me tell you, that's the problem. You can't look at these pictures and be sure who's a good guy or who's a bad guy. The other point is that child predators come in all walks of life, all races, all colors, all religions, either sex, it doesn't matter whether you're Hispanic, black, white, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you're a school teacher, they can be a principal of the school, I hate to say that, Mr. Thompson. They can be a lawyer like me. They can be a doctor, uh, they can be almost anything. We had an assistant United States attorney in North Florida that traveled to Michigan to meet and was arrested up there about a month ago and then committed suicide afterwards. An assistant United States attorney who was arrested. Could be a worker for Disney, could be anybody. Let's go to the next slide. Where, let's, let's find out, where, where do people go online? We want to talk for a couple of minutes and, and uh, we want to talk about screen names for a second. We don't, won't need to look at the screen. Where do you go online? Okay, where do you go online? MySpace. Where else besides those two? Where, where do you go online? Okay, all right. They're not going to be able to hear you on TV, but that's okay. Where do, you go, where do you go online? Okay, where do you go online? Facebook. Okay, we got a lot of people going online in different places. Uh, who has a screen name they're willing to share? What's, what's your screen name? CareCore1. What's your screen name? Soccer Girl 23. Soccer Girl 23. 323.94. 323.94. Soccer Girl. Okay. What other name? Anybody else want to share one? All right. What's your Okay, now let's take a look at, at, at who has a webcam? How many of you have a webcam? Raise your hand. All right, I don't go to ask everybody, but one of you in the back, tell me what you use the webcam for. Hi, teacher. Okay, what do you use a webcam for? One of you raised it right up here. What do you use it for? What, what do you use it for? Okay, what do you use it for? Okay, what, somebody over here tell me, what do you use the webcam for? Anybody tell me? What do you use it for? Talk to relatives. Talk to relatives, all right, what do you use it for? Talk to relatives, same thing. All right, let's, uh, what, do you th what do you use it for? No, all right. Let's, let's go to the next slide. Now we've talked about the webcam and we've talked about uh, the, the names that you use. Look at the names that a lot of people use. Some of you gave me a name similar to this. Cheer for Wildcats, Lee High 15 GRL, presumably girl, Jax and BY16, Hot and Spicy, Sassy Sue, Hot for hoops. Tell me what's wrong with any one of those. Anybody want to tell me what's wrong with one of those? What's wrong with that? Well, 
That's right. The Wildcats could be the name of the school. What's wrong with the second one, the Lehigh? What, what's that? Yes, not only the name of the school, Lehigh, is probably the one over in and the age is up there too. 15 year old girl going to tell a bad guy who you are. Uh, Jack's bad B 16. What's wrong with that one? It tells the gender. It's a boy in this case. And his age, 16 probably. All right, how about uh, the next one? What's wrong with that one? Hot and spicy, yeah. The guys would like that, right? But it's okay if you're talking to another. You know, if a girl's putting that up there and wants a teenage boy to look at her, maybe that's okay. But think about what the bad guy's thinking. He's going to say, aha, that's the one I'm going to go after. Same thing's really true of the others. Yes? It's provocative. It's provocative. It's provocative. That's a really good word. That's true of Sassy Sue. That's also true of Hot Four Hoops. Think about your name. Think about your name. As cute as it may sound, you want to come across great to somebody else, but the name itself can invite trouble. So... Some of your names were fine. Some of them weren't going to do that. But don't give out your address. Don't give out your school with your handle. And don't give out something that's too provocative because you might get the wrong person being enticed to whatever. Let's look at the next one. Um, friends keep friends safe. Online is just a message that we have. Um, and, and, you know, you don't want to get tricked into virtual, virtual relationships. relationships. It was really what that film was about you saw a while ago. That young woman, that last film sometimes is shown later in the presentation, it's, it's really trying to say you don't want to get into a relationship that, uh, that you don't know who it is that you're talking to. Let's go on to the next one. Next slide. Uh, what are these up here? What are they? They're video games. That's another way that you guys can be communicating. How many of you in this room play video games online? How many of you play video games most of you do? Okay. How many of you play video games online with somebody where you have a chat room and you're talking back and forth while you're playing the game? That's a pretty good percentage of you do that. Well, let me tell you, that's another way the bad guys can communicate. A lot of times they will be on and they look for chat lines on video games. So it's just a warning. Any place you go on the internet, uh, it isn't just there. How about this one, guys? Yeah. You're a model, cool. I'm a Chippendales dancer. I also race speedboats. What's your sign? He's saying over there to her. You know? Yeah, well, look what they really look like. Yeah? And that's what you could be talking to. You don't know who you're talking to if you don't really know the person. They could look like that. 